Mandalorian season two official trailer. I'm so excited. I mean, in reality, we're really only here for Baby Yoda. There's a lot of truth to that, but in the same way, I do really love the Mandalorian story, how it's like very Wild Wild West Star Wars, how it like, it's like kind of supposed to be what Star Wars was meant to be, in a way. Yeah, that definitely has a feel. I think it's one of the first Star Wars projects in a while that we've gotten that has had the kind of Star Wars feel or direction that the majority of fans across the board have been very happy yes. to see. Yes. This is a show that I haven't seen many complaints about, mm -hmm. if any. I don't think I have yeah. seen really any. A lot of people, and including like the hardcore like Star Wars fans, really, really do enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. The background, the yeah, lore, the yeah, details, yeah. the storyline, all of it is very cool and very interesting. So, season two's here. We have a trailer. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and watch it then. Ship still super messed up after after last season. <laughs> the vibe is like love it. Show me the one whose safety deemed such destruction. You must reunite it with its own kind. Where? This you must determine. The songs of eons past. Tell of battles between Mandalore the Great and an order of sorcerers called Jedi. Jedi. You expect me to search the galaxy and deliver this creature to a race of enemy sorcerers? <laughs> this is the way. This is the way. for a child. Wherever I go, he goes. So I've heard. <laughs> okay. This is the way. And hated that trailer. Why? I don't know. I feel like it was just a huge tease. It's a, it's a teaser. But it was a tease. That's what they do. But it was a tease. They're like, hey, <laughs> hey, no. here's, the, here's the season we've been <laughs> talking about. Here's zero information about it. Well, I guess we get he's one gotta go, tease He's got to try to... Find some Jedis. Right. There's only like... Try to take him back to his kind. I think that's what she said. Yeah. Yeah. So... Which is interesting, because his race isn't the Jedi. No, but... I don't, I think like in the first one they talked about like no one really knows about his race mm -hmm. that much. Um, they know a little bit that he's like this big and 50 years old, right? Mm -hmm. So his, and, and we know about Yoda, so we know that his race lives like a really, really long time. So anyone who probably knew Yoda in the past, his association would be, I've never seen any of his other species before, but he was a Jedi. Right, right, that's fair enough. So It is an interesting concept where they talk about the great Mandalore and how they have struggled against the Jedi, Jedi. for generations. Right, 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 they right. have that different perspective. They're enemies. Because right. not everybody agrees with the way of the Jedi. We just always have because this is perspective we watched. Right, but then also you have... Um, you, you know, you have, like, the Empire, like, painted them out to be bad, too. Also true. Right? So, who knows when you run into a Jedi, a lot of people may be like, oh my gosh, it's the Jedi, like, they killed people, mm -hmm. and then, They're like, crazy. They, right, exactly. So, you know, you don't really know, like, in that time, was it five years after, six years after? No, that's what they said, five years after the episode six. That's right. That's where we're at right now. Right. So, well, I mean, so Jedi have been gone for a while. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, who's left? Luke, Leia... Some force ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that counts, but yeah, they were there. Force ghosts, <laughs> yeah. Um, but I mean, Obi-Wan's gone, Yoda's gone, uh, you know. So, who's left, really? I mean, mm -hmm. 
And then you have, I think that Sasha Banks. I thought it was Ahsoka Tano at first. That was really the book? yeah. But then I they showed her again, and I think it was Sasha Banks. I don't actually know what character she's wearing. She is, but she was wearing a black hood. Which generally speaking, so I have is my, this a good I, so I, have, <laughs> I I don't know too much about that character. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I haven't done too much research on that. I don't know. If, we know yet, maybe. I'm sure there are people who know, but I, I don't personally know, so I don't want to speak about something that I don't know about. But I, I have my suspicions just because right. they're talking about the Jedi, and he's going evil sorcerers, and they're showing her in a black hood. So I'm like, okay, it's either you know misdirection, which is possible, or she's <laughs> something that starts with an S and ends with an F. So, but I, I thought the trailer was really good. It did do a good job at teasing, but I thought yeah. it was a really good trailer. I really liked everything I, I mean, saw. October 30th is only just around the corner. It's so. a month away, a month pretty and much. A, bit. a month and a half away. So, so I'm excited. I thought that was really good. There was no Boba Fett, and there was no Ahsoka. I needed at least one, and I got none. At least that we saw. I didn't recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to dive through and do like an actual breakdown of it. But let us know what you thought about this. What was your reaction? Our reaction was this. I mean, you're freaking cute, guys. He's a cute little baby Yoda. But comment down below what you guys thought about the teaser trailer. If you enjoyed it, if it got you excited for the season just around the corner. And of course, we'd love to interact with you all. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button for more movie information and updates. And baby Yoda. Bye, Dan.